Good morning, my dear students. Welcome to your EVS One class. Today we are going to start with a new chapter for the T One session. That is Chapter Five. The name of the chapter is Keeping Our Neighborhood Clean. Now, what are the things that we are going to learn in this chapter? We are going to learn about different types of waste, disposal of waste, the three R's. Now, what are these three R's? The three words which start with R that is reduce, reuse, and recycle. And we are going to know about compost. We are also going to learn about compost. So we will come to each one of the topics one by one. First, let us learn about the different types of waste. Before we move on to the different types of waste, let us know what do we mean by waste. So, any useless thing is known as waste. in our life now every day with every day we throw away the things which we do not need so it will be every day we not with okay children so every day we throw away the things which we do not which we don't need anymore things that are no longer useful to us are called waste any supposedly you are having toys now they have broken down so will is it of any use to you no so that becomes a waste when our uh, mothers cook when they cook they take off the peel of the vegetables now the skin of the vegetable the peel is it necessary for us is it useful to us are we going to eat it no so that is also a waste so anything which is not useful for us is known as waste now let's talk about the different types of waste now waste are of three types solid waste liquid waste and gaseous waste now what is solid waste solid waste they may be either wet or dry they may be either wet or dry wet wastes consist of kitchen waste like vegetable and fruit pills and pieces just now that i said tea leaves bones fish scales as well as cooked food so basically what is the wet waste wet waste is the waste that we get from the kitchen okay whatever the left it can be the leftover food it can be the mm, vegetable skin the vegetable peels whatsoever all of those are the wet solid waste wet solid waste solid waste is again of two types wet waste and dry waste wet waste we get from the kitchen dry waste is the one which do not have any water content that is like we can talk about the papers i just now talk, told you about the toys plastics metal glass rubber there can be so many so many anything that can be the machines which are no longer mm, useful which have broken down and you cannot use them anymore they all are they all come under the category of dry waste they all come under the category of dry waste now some solid waste rot when buried under the soil especially the wet waste especially the wet waste the kitchen waste when we throw them out what happens over the time it rot that means it becomes bad it becomes bad under the soil and this decay of waste happens with the help of air water and tiny organisms now there are very very tiny organisms found on the soil which start eating these rotten things so eating this the waste whatever is the waste for us that is the food for them so they start eating on them and then what happens as they start eating time uh, with more time and more um, as the time passes air and water and those tiny organisms help in rotting the waste products that is helps it in becoming um, decaying and what happens when it decays it becomes loose it becomes loose the decay um, the waste products that we have thrown away ha becomes loose okay their composition now i'm sure you all must have eaten the halwa right you all eat the halwa so when we uh, when we just take a bite when we cut it from the spoon and we take a bite after that what happens some of the small small particles come out from that supposedly your mother has given you a good chunk in a bowl and you are just cutting and having it from the mm, with the spoon now once you have taken one bite from the spoon there are some uh, small small particles which come out also which also come out but they are not not there in the spoon no more in the chunk they are somewhere in the bowl yes or no 
so just like that the tiny organisms eat some and some are left behind like that so this the waste will become a part of the soil so what happens just like uh, what happens it in the bowl some small particles are still there and we however how do you try to eat them you cannot right because all of them you cannot get it in the spoon and get it on the spoon and then have a bite of so the left the rotten material the rotten material the rotten waste that we have kept the rotten waste that we have kept that becomes that of over the time mixes with the soil and becomes a part of the soil example cow dung dry leaves leftover food now what happens when this becomes the part of the food what happens when it becomes the part of the food nothing but the soil uh, so it becomes a part of the soil what happens the soil becomes more rich with nutrients the soil becomes more rich with nutrients okay so children here we are having some pictures of wet waste as you can see wet waste and then we are having the dry waste we are having plastic bottles um old copies papers and all of those waste that decays in the soil we have the vegetable peels and waste that does not decay in the soil now what happens now we all are i'm sure we all are hearing the news that we should stop using plastic why because plastic is something that does not decay in the soil and it remains as it is and when it remains as it is what happens when the other animals they eat that what will happen they die because these are having poisonous chemi uh, chemicals these are having poisonous chemicals in them and when the other animals they eat the soil this um, this particles of plastics also go inside them and then they are they die because of the poisonous chemicals present in the plastic but the vegetable peels the paper these are all plant products right these are ultimately all plant products so they do not harm the body neither us nor of the other animals so some solid waste do not decay when buried in the soil example plastic bottles bags glasses glass pieces now coming to the other two types of waste that is the liquid waste waste in the liquid form is known as liquid waste that is um a liquid waste we can simply say that liquid waste are those waste that we get from the toilet from the washroom so example waste water from houses and factories not only from the washroom but also from the factories now um, the kitchen after our mothers wash the vegetables or wash the uh, rice and all of that they throw away the water that is also a liquid waste that is also a liquid waste next we are having the gaseous waste waste in the form of gases is known as gaseous waste example smoke from vehicles factories and many other human activities okay so this is something that we have been over and over talking about and even though you all are really young i'm sure you all have heard about the word pollution now the word pollution comes from what smoke from the vehicles smoke from the factories they use different gases for the products for the vehicles to run petrol is used diesel is used and when they burn when they burn our cars our vehicles move but carbon dioxide carbon monoxide is released okay chemicals are released when they burn and that is what comes out that is what is given out into the air by the vehicles or the factories so you can see here the pictures of the chem of the gaseous waste factories then we have the car and obviously when we when we burn the waste products like i'm sure you all must have seen people burning the dry leaves or the waste the house waste those also create a lot of smoke and that is the gaseous waste the waste generated in different places may differ waste from cities mainly includes paper plastic bottles glass pieces kitchen waste and so on waste from villages mostly include the waste from the fields and farms it can be in the form of animals waste like cow dung stock of the cut crops dry leaves and so on right there can be so many types of waste there are so many types of waste so in the uh, all of these are categorized into solid waste liquid waste and gaseous waste solid waste is again of two types wet waste and dry waste so this much for today children i hope you all have understood very well 
what you are going to do is you are going to open the chapter you are going to read the first two pages of the chapter and then each one of you are going to find out 10 important words each one of you are going to find out 10 important words and send it to me through write it in your classwork copy you have to write it in your classwork copy and send it to me in the google classroom clear so thank you children keep learning and all of you must read the chapter must read the chapter have a great day